Hello and welcome back to my craft room. Well, I've been very busy uh, kind of getting ready for Inktober, uh, which is always quite a big challenge, and um, also starting to make preparations for my arty farty party, which is happening on the 5th of November. So I've got a lot on my mind and my head's very busy at the moment and I just needed a bit of light relief. So it's reckless journal time. It's always perfect for when your head just needs to do something that doesn't really matter but it, it's creative but it's it's just my wreck this book if it all goes wrong it doesn't matter it's a chill in yet you can see the difference you can see i've got my thick top on and my cardio over the top i'm too skin flint to put the heating on in here yet because um normally it's quite cozy in here and i don't need it i've got all this insulation with all this paper and fabric around me <laughs> but i'm actually a bit cold today so i might have to give in scary though all this fuel price isn't it Anyway, right, so this is the page I want to do. This is getting nicely full now, this book. I'm not far off, I'm not far off the point where I'll be doing a flip through. I've stuck some pages together that I just really hate and, uh, you know, I don't want to do them. I don't have to do them, it's my book. This prompt says, press leaves and other things, other found things. I don't want to have press, manky press leaves in, in here. It's just not going to work and they'll all go brown and it's just, you know, I want colour. So I'm going to be, I'm going to be inspired by the word leaves. We're, we're going into autumn now in the UK and their uh, leaves are starting to fall and change colour and stuff. And, and I love this colour green with all the variegation in it that they've got here as a starting point. So I'm going to do something very simple got acrylic paint really really gross palette Johnny if you're watching you're gonna love this palette <laughs> he won't he hates messy messy watercolor palettes and things but I hate most of my palettes so I've got this lovely bright kind of limey green I've got a white and I've got this burnt sienna which is quite a reddish brown isn't it so I think that will kind of tone down the green and I'm going to start with a bit of negative painting and then I'll probably go back over the top and paint some freehand leaves over the top as well um, this is going to be one of those things that it might be really quick or it might make me it might take quite a while but I'll probably get lost in the process so I won't be chatting through I will just be speaking through it and playing you a bit of music I've got um, a very small selection of brushes and I'm not going to go rummaging for any more because I want to keep this simple I might not even use all of these there's this strange shape one that we got in a scroller box a, a while back I've never used one of this shape and I don't even know what it's called it's almost like a really a really pointy filbert or something but it's but it's not it's, it's too it's yeah it's too pointed for that yeah so I, I don't know what it's called but anyway I might have a go at making some leaf shapes with that by pressing directly on the page but I'm going to start off with negative painting um, and I just need to draw myself some outlines and I'm going to use this purple because I like purple with green <laughs> micron pen because I know that won't move with water I mean that the acrylic paint will paint off anyway so it doesn't really matter so I'm just going to do negative painting where I start off with the leaves that will end up in the foreground and then go back and back and back and then probably come back to the foreground and add lighter ones on the top. See you at the other end.
Okay. I think that's me done. Didn't go quite, um, didn't it? <laughs> it hasn't gone quite the way I had it in my head, but it's a matter at all. I'm quite happy with it. Um, and I've just uh, outlined what's left a bit of the prompt that I chose to be inspired by, which is just the word leaves. <laughs> and that's good enough for me. So that's all I've got for you today. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed watching that. And um, I will see you again really soon. Bye.